Before replacing an SFU, remove the matching fan module. For mappings between SFUs and fan modules, see the fan module and SFU position diagram at the rear of the chassis. Note: 1. Prepare the required materials and tools in advance. Replace the SFU and install the fan module as soon as possible. 2. Remove the backflow preventer latches on the new SFU before installing it. 3. Only one fan module can be removed at a time. 4. If two or three SFUs matching one fan module need to be replaced, remove the fan module, replace the SFUs one by one, and install the fan module. Ensure only one SFU is removed at a time, otherwise the corresponding LPU will be powered off due to overheating. 5. During replacement, pull or push the SFU gently to prevent it from colliding with or damaging adjacent SFUs. 6. Currently, only SFU slots 1 to 8 are available. The filler panel in slot 9 cannot be removed. SFU Replacement Procedure Remove the fan module matching the SFU to be replaced from the chassis. Power off the SFU to be replaced. Remove the SFU from the chassis. Install a new SFU. Check whether the new SFU is installed successfully. Install the fan module. Check whether the fan module functions properly. 1. Remove the fan module matching the SFU to be replaced from the chassis. 1. Loosen the captive screws on the fan module. 2. Press the release buttons to the right of the handles. Turn the handles out and rotate them until they click in place. Two, hold the handles with both hands and evenly pull the fan module slowly along the guide rails. Two, power off the SFU to be replaced. Use a sharp object, such as a pen, to press and hold down the OFL button for at least six seconds until the OFL indicator turns steady yellow, which indicates that the target SFU is already isolated from the system. Three, remove the SFU to be replaced from the chassis. 1. Take out the SFU wrenches from the toolbox at the bottom of the chassis and install them on the SFU to be replaced. Press and hold down the square buttons on the wrenches to rotate them outward so as to remove the SFU from the chassis. 2. Hold the wrenches with both hands and pull the SFU slowly along the guide rails. When the SFU is about to exit the chassis, Hold the lower edge with one hand and the SFU panel with the other before removing it completely from the chassis. Place the removed SFU in an ESD bag or on an ESD pad. 3. To remove the wrenches, press and hold down a round button on the SFU with one hand and hold the wrench with the other. Repeat this process to remove the other wrench. 4. Install a new SFU. 1. Remove the backflow preventer latches from SFU. Place the SFU in the slot and gently push it along the guide rails. Hold the wrenches with both hands and install them on the SFU. Gently push the SFU until the wrenches hook onto the inside of the slot. Close the upper and lower wrenches until the SFU is completely installed in the chassis. 3. To remove the wrenches, press and hold down a round button on the SFU with one hand and hold the wrench with the other. Repeat this process to remove the other wrench. Then, place them in the toolbox. 5. Check whether the new SFU has been installed successfully. If the Run ALM indicator blinks green quickly, the new SFU is loading the software or resetting. If the Run ALM indicator blinks green slowly, the new SFU is running properly. Note, the new SFU automatically restarts and registers after it is installed in the chassis. This process takes a few minutes. You can run the display device command to check whether the new SFU is running properly. If so, the alarm field displays normal in the command output. 6. Install the fan module. 1. Hold the fan module handles with both hands and gently push the fan module into the slot along the guide rails until it cannot go any further. 2. Press the release buttons on the right side of the fan module handles to fold the handles. 
Fasten the captive screws on the fan module. Seven, check whether the fan module functions properly. Observe the indicator on the fan module. If the indicator blinks green slowly, the fan module is running properly. If not, the indicator will be solid red. You can run the display device command to check the running status of the fan module. 